Item number SCP-5197, Object Class Keta, Security Level 4. Special Containment Procedures. Foundation agents are to monitor reports of toxic gas spills in rural communities, unexpected manifestation dates. Foundation task forces investigating SCP-5197 manifestations are required to wear fully encapsulated protective gear with a self-contained breathing apparatus to prevent first gene exposure. Upon arrival, task forces are to isolate the area and evacuate any civilians. Personnel are not to enter the area of manifestation if an explosion has been reported until space-time stability can be confirmed. Otherwise, Foundation agents should make immediate efforts to recover all SCP-5197-1 and 2 instances. SCP-5197-1 instances must be stored in a dedicated Type M hazardous object repository located at least 50 kilometers from any human settlement or foundation facilities. SCP-5197-1 may not be removed from this facility upon arrival, or experimentation must take place on site. Every beep is the current designated SCP-5197-1 repository. Description SCP-5197 are large, oblate, spheroid objects possessing a dark metallic appearance. A single SCP-5197 instance periodically manifests every 271 days, usually during night time. However, the exact location of manifestation has proven difficult to predict. Direct analysis of SCP-5197 is also challenging as its material reacts with the Earth's atmosphere to produce large amounts of phosgene gas. Organic compound with the formula COCL2, notable for its use as an industrial building block as well as its historical use as a chemical weapon. One SCP-5197 instance can produce up to 2.4 cube kilometers of phosgene before dissolution, usually within four hours of manifestation. Analysis of surrounding debris and photographic evidence indicates that each SCP-5197 has a diameter of 33.7 meter and a height of roughly 8 meters. A unique series of ornate symbols are inscribed onto the side of each instance. However, these to soft soon after manifestation, and photographic analysis has failed to give any insight into their meaning or purpose. Each SCP-5197 contains exactly five SCP-5197-1 instances and eight SCP-5197-2 instances. SCP-5197-1 instances are symmetrical objects composed of a material chemically and structurally similar to bone. X-ray scans and other analysis techniques suggest these objects are hollow. However, SCP-5197-1 explode when ruptured, causing local space-time to destabilize upon detonation. This creates a gamma-class anomalous zone. Critically known as a devil's funhouse, by Foundation agents. Exploration of Gamma Class Zones is strictly prohibited by Order A20641 due to high rates of fatality and psychological trauma. Within a radius of 0.6 to 1.3 kilometers, to date, 7% of SCP-5197 manifestations have resulted in an SCP-5197-1 detonation. SCP-5197-2 instances are large quadrupedal entities averaging 5.3 meters in height and 6.1 meters in length. Up to 42 muscular hydrostats protrude from the dorsal region. The function of these is unknown, 
though the number of appendages directly correlate to the entity size. Three orifices can be found on the head, the largest of these produces vocalizations resembling the screams of a human female. The two smaller orifices located on the right and left side structurally resemble infrared sensing organs found in some reptiles. SCP-5197 behavior has been highly erratic in encounters with Foundation task forces. Instances move quickly and react violently to fast or sudden movements. No SCP-5197-2 instance has survived more than 12 hours after manifestation due to the effects of false gene exposure. Addendum On 2022, June 30th, at 2334, an SCP-5197 instance manifested in Ombre Rouge, Louisiana. In deviation from previous incidents, all SCP-5197-1 instances detonated during manifestation, instantly destroying most of the town. Notably, the incident also produced 130% more false gene than previous manifestations. Ombre Rouge has been erased from all public records to cover up the incident. At 3.10 the following morning, 051 received the following transmission via data expunged from an unknown party. Begin transmission. 051 speaking. Please state your identification. Lesson greetings. Do I speak to Mr. 051? There is a long pause. Who the hell is this? I am Oop Thou Oop Coffee. I am representation for Department of Frontier Development. How do you get in here? This is a secure channel. I contact you regarding incident with most recent supply shipment. Engine failure caused transport vessel to make emergency landing. Unfortunate, ship and all cargo were destroyed. I haven't heard of any... Wait. Give me Dr. Beep. Recent replacement supplies as per terms of agreement. Expect shipment to arrive within X no toth period. Agreement. Auto agreement. Our records indicate either yourself or predecessor applied for by psychical shipment of fuel capsules and livestock under section 12 of Nicotti Resolution Oc 7639 on 8th of McConnell Cycle 27,824. You remain eligible as long as the world is class 3 or lower. Do you understand just how much damage these shipments have been causing? I do not understand you, sir. Those Bombs have annihilated entire towns, and that's not to mention the phosgene. Do you have any idea the kind of ecological damage releasing that much phosgene into the atmosphere could cause? We are becoming very concerned that this could destabilize our ecosystem. Still, I do not understand. Do you say you wish to withdraw from program? Whatever it is you're sending here, stop. Very well then, simply submit completed Sith 43 and Earl 89 forms to local department office. Then your planet will be withdrawn from program. Also, you have not submitted an Inc. 33 this cycle. You need to do that. What are you? If you have more questions, contact local office. Farewell, Mr. 051. No, wait, do not! End transmission. All attempts to re-establish contact with the entity have failed.